Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many AWS users encounter. Our viewer is trying to copy a file from an S3 bucket to their local machine, but is met with a 403 forbidden error. Let's break down the situation and see how we can resolve this. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. The first step in troubleshooting the 403 error is to verify your IAM user permissions. Ensure that the user has the necessary permissions to access the S3 bucket. Next, let's examine the bucket policy. The policy should allow access to the resources specified. Make sure it is correctly configured to grant access to your IAM user. Additionally, check if the object you are trying to access has its own permissions. Sometimes, individual object permissions can restrict access even if the bucket policy is open. If you uploaded the object using a web app, ensure that the upload policy was correctly configured. Misconfigurations during upload can lead to access issues. Finally, if all else fails, consider using the AWS CLI to test permissions directly. You can run a command to list the objects in the bucket to see if you have access. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The issue with the AWS CLI S3 copy failing with a 403 error is due to the object being owned by Anonymous. This means that while I can access it via a web browser, I can't access it through the CLI because I'm authenticated. When files are uploaded, they become owned by anonymous, unless specified otherwise. To resolve this, use the ACL parameter bucket owner full control during upload. It's important to note that the default ACL is EC2 bundle read, which is hard-coded in the AWS SDK. Modifying the S3 upload policy.java file allows for the use of the desired ACL. After making these changes, I verified that I can manage uploaded objects via the AWS CLI successfully. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In this scenario, the user has three AWS accounts and is facing a 403 error when trying to download files from a bucket. The files are owned by a different account, which is causing the issue. The user successfully listed the files, but encountered a forbidden error when attempting to download. They realized that permissions were not sufficient for cross-account access. To resolve this, the user added list and get permissions in the bucket policy and IAM role. But this alone wasn't enough. They needed to set proper access control when uploading files.
the user implemented an access control policy that grants read permissions to both accounts, A2 and A3, ensuring they can download the files. They also used bucket owner full control during upload. With these changes, both accounts can now read and download the files without encountering the 403 error. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing a 403 error when copying an S3 object, it might not be the bucket policy. Instead, check your credentials and access privileges set during the upload. For more detailed solutions, refer to the Stack Overflow link provided in the description. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The 403 error when copying an S3 object can occur if the system time on your machine is incorrect. Make sure to set the correct system time to resolve this issue. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're getting a 403 forbidden error when trying to copy an object in AWS S3, it could be due to security reasons. Even if the file doesn't exist, S3 will return this error. Make sure you have the correct S3 path when attempting to download the object. Double check your input to avoid this error. For more information on this issue, you can visit the GitHub link provided. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find you to that resolution and you are able to get through your problem. If you did, guys, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. It does help me out. And until next time, have a good one.